how to navigate the complexity of hydrogen certification in the EU. For renewable hydrogen, I have one table with a simple explanation for two main types of uh, certification. And in this video, I will share with you this table. Hello, everyone. My name is Marina Hritsishina, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I have worked with uh, the regulation in the energy sector for more than 13 years, and uh, I specialize in regulation for hydrogen and renewable energy. So in this table about uh, hydrogen certification in the EU, I would like to share with you uh, uh, information about two main types of uh, certification for renewable hydrogen, guarantees of origin and proof of sustainability. These both types of uh, certificates are mentioned in renewable energy terrain. And usually when we consider some hydrogen project, we uh, also analyze this project from perspective of the use of these two types of certificates. Uh, in previous podcasts uh, about, uh, from Clean Hydrogen Talks, you can uh, know that we discussed uh, some topics connected with energy uh, tracking, uh, where we raised some questions about guarantees of a region. And in the second podcast, we discussed RFN bo certification or certification for renewable fuel and biological region. And this second podcast uh, uh, was about uh, proof of sustainability. Uh, so on this table, you can see uh, both types of certificates, guarantees of origin and RFN bo certificates. And the main uh, criteria or requirements to the certificate that you should take into account when you analyze uh, hydrogen project or hydrogen production in the EU. First of all, um, both certificates have different scope. Uh, if we consider guarantees of origin, uh, we should take into account that we can issue guarantees of origin only to the hydrogen as gas. Or renewable gas. It means that this hydrogen is produced from renewable electricity, uh, and but it, it's gas, it's not a fuel. For proof of sustainability, we can uh, um, consider only fuel that was produced using renewable hydrogen. And we call this fuel, renewable fuel, not biological origin. Both certificates are regulated according to the Renewable Energy Directive. That was revised two times, and uh, second revision we call RED2, and the third revision that was last year we call RED3. Uh, except renewable energy directive, uh, for proof of sustainability, we need to take into account also delegated acts that were adopted uh, with the European Commission on the basis of the renewable energy directive. Uh, delegated acts um, include the requirements for hydrogen production and um, greenhouse gas emissions methodology with requirements to the calculations of the main emissions from production of renewable hydrogen. Uh, this uh, uh, certificate uh, also uh, can be issued for different uh, purposes and uh, for different uh, acquires. So if we consider guarantees of origin, so uh, we can issue this uh, certificates for hydrogen producers. And the main purpose of the certificate is uh, confirmation of environmental information for consumers that this uh, hydrogen is produced from renewable energy. Regarding proof of sustainability, we can use the certificates um, uh, for purposes of compliance with EU targets in the industry and for transport sector. For instance, uh, we can uh, use it by the industrial uh, players uh, who would like to confirm that they comply with um, EU targets. And uh, important attributes to uh, these certificates uh, have also certain differences. For instance, guarantees of origin certificate uh, should uh, provide information about type of renewable energy. In uh, comparison to the guarantees of origin, proof of sustainability includes also information about type of fuel and uh, compliance with sustainability um, criteria. And the last one, uh, it's a, a chain of custody. It's this criteria includes uh, information about um, the flow of uh, the certificates and the flow of uh, uh, this uh, hydrogen. Uh, for guarantees of origin, uh, we can use book and claim approach. It means that uh, the certificates uh, can be um, traded uh, separately from hydrogen. In case of proof of sustainability, we need to comply with mass balancing. It means that uh, certificates should uh, 
also follow to the physical flow of the fuel. If you have any specific questions about this main criteria or about this table, please let me know in the comments and subscribe on my uh, channel if you would like to know more about hydrogen and uh, other topics connected with regulation in the energy sector. Thank you for your attention.